Welcome to your workout. Today we are going to celebrate. We are going to celebrate that we are worth being taken care of, being treated well as people. Uh, a long time ago, well, growing up, I was raised in a very strict parenting family, which meant the kids meant nothing, parents got everything right. So you learn to be like, oh, I'm not worthy of it. Um, I had that bullying issue at my job. I made a stand. So I think a lot of us given is because of the confidence that you have given me doing these workout videos, the positive things that you're saying back to me that I realized we all deserve to be treated well. So come, we're going to do a uh, champion fights action in our chairs. I was so thrilled. I don't know what possessed me to finally realize if I don't stop her, it's going to continue. Um, nobody, if you're stuck at a job, and I actually love this job, why would I let that one person wreck it for me? So I'm going to scoot back my chair a little because I'm a little close to you feeling. Sit up nice and tall, belly into spine, the parts of your pelvic floor that you're just letting whoosh onto the chair, pick it up, we're going to call it your elevator parts. And your ankles are underneath your knees, knees and hips are level, or sit on a, a pillow, a phone book. We don't have phone books anymore, huh? Sit on something if you want your, your hips a little higher to help with a nice arch in your back. You just want a little bit of an arch. I'm sitting away from the front of, or the back of my chair on purpose, so I have to use a lot of muscles to hold myself up in good posture. Take your toes, lift them, lift them, lift them, hold them there and spread them out wide. And then put them down, little piggy, all the way down to your big piggy. Stabilize them, clench them to the ground. Let's see if we can hold it there. Now take your inner arch of both feet and lift it up. Your knees though are gonna stay still. I don't want them out or in. Let's take our shoulders now, lift them up to our ears, around, and then down. Let's go a few of these. As we're doing this, what's happening to our chin? Put your chin on that magical make-believe table and slide it back. What I'm trying to do, I told my daughter that, and she's like, do you mean horizontal to the floor? Yes, horizontal to the floor. I didn't even think about saying it so obviously before. We're kind of warming up our bodies. We're going to do bigger movements in four, three, two, one. Let's go to the side. As your arms are moving, keep your shoulders down, keep your chin tucked in, belly into spine. I'm trying to keep equal weight on the chair on both sides of my behind. We're going to add some leg work though in four, three, two, and one. Ready? Reach out with your leg and back in. Out and in. Just starting to warm up. If you prefer to slide your feet, that's absolutely fine. I'm going up and over like a rainbow. But soon, we're gonna go straight forward. Horizontal to the ground. Ready to change? Let's change in four, three, two, one. And swoosh, and swoosh. Oh, now I'm hitting the mirror. Better than a hard countertop unless the mirror comes crashing on me, huh? So keep your belly tight. I can already feel my stomach kicking in a little bit, my stomach muscles. We're gonna change in four, three, two, one. Plant your feet again anywhere that's comfortable. Actually, let's go ankles underneath knees. Do your toes up, plant them down, lift your inner arch and let's Push forward, backs of palms together. 
and then around lean back belly into spine to support your back come forward palms together oh yeah i already messed up the swimming huh keep your palms together <laughs> we're adding a little breast stroke belly into spine watch your chin as you lean forward there might be a tendency to tip your chin up that's those phantom headaches that's what causes a lot of headaches frequently to people elongate your spine like uh you're you have a lap belt around your your lap and somebody's trying to lift you up and out of that lap belt oh it's giving me record pool swim i say yes let's change so in four three two and one sit up again nice and tall and let's punch so for your you it looks like i'm punching up at my eyes my chin my forehead i am actually down low i'm chest height punching the camera is just low i'm trying not to reach past what i can if i keep my shoulder blades together and pinch and my elbows are staying a little bit as i stretch out it was such a good day today. I told management, I put a refusal in, they listen. Uh, I chose not to talk to that coworker, but not making it awkward for any employee there or customer. I just didn't need to be in her way. I did say though, I didn't want to abandon. So. If I had to go to a different part of the store, though, of course I said, oh, I'm going here. So she didn't wonder what happened. Or she didn't hope that I quit, huh? Let's change soon. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Let's keep our hands up. <laughs> I'm thinking, no, let's do the karate. Put one hand down. Put the other hand right by your ear, and as you swish down, come back, fist, that arm that goes down is a fist, and the other one comes right at your side body. So we're gonna take it up towards your ear, slide down that arm, pull out, and make a fist at your side body the other. Whoops, I'm not saying it's perfection. What I am saying, if you do it nice and crisp and clean it's a good posture workout don't punch yourself though like i just did i was pretty high ranked in my dojo too it shows that if you don't practice even if you're a black belt and you don't add practice i bet you after a while you look just like me i was not a black belt though but it was shocking how much better i was than the now It's good coordination though, right? They say that you should learn something new for your brain to keep it youthful. If anything, hopefully it just has you in a laughing fit, which is perfect because there's so much um, strangeness in this world and so much stress. You just sit and back and laugh at me, pop pop turn, laugh. Oh, big tragedy at my work though. Um, we're out of the, the building to make chocolate chip muffins right now. Even though I don't eat them, I always like knowing that I could. Ready to keep going on? Let's change in four, three, two, and one. Let's come forward in our chairs. I'm turning, you don't need to. Hinge down, bring your arms toward your side body. Do one side first and then the other. And let's lean back our arm. And then let's see how much further we can lift it. So keep your chin down once you get the hang of it. So your elbow stays close to your side body. You're, you're making a fist. Straighten out your elbow so you're thinking the back of your arm stretch. Keep your shoulder blades together and then do an extra lift a little higher. Go at your own pace. Watch your chin though. Keep it looking down. All right, we don't want neck aches, we don't want headaches, we also want to just break that bad posture. 
we're going to change sides in four, three, two, one. Oh, I could feel it in the wrong spot. What about you? You should be feeling the back of your arm and your shoulder blade. So hinge forward, look kind of down, elbow into side body, we just walk the arms, make a fist up to your shoulder, straighten out your elbow, and then do an extra lift. You should feel in the back of the arm that's moving. Keep your, your shoulders away from your ears. Belly into spine, elevator parts lifted. Make your stomach muscles do something against gravity. I'm adding a nice little chafe. I'm sorry if you're chafing as well. I think about the chafing workout and I'm thinking that would have been nicer. Do you think we're even? Let's change it in four, three, two, one. Come on back up. Let's now keep our, arm, our legs apart, thumbs pointed in between our legs, hinge at the hips, leaning forward, belly in the spine, make the belly again work for the gravity. If it hurts your low back though, sit up. The thumbs down, guide your thumbs up to the sky, slowly down. You can go fast up, but slowly down. We want to work the rotator cuff muscles. Those are our victory muscles. See the victory pose? That's right. I try to lift a, it turns out 50 pound bag today, the flour or sugar or something. It was in my way and I grabbed a quarter, but I was like, nope, not even thinking about doing that. And so I just waited. I waited for, <laughs> it's nice to be scrawny. When you're scrawny looking, nobody knows, thinks that you can do anything. Let's change in four, three, two, one. Sit up, come to the side of your chair, lean your side body into the back of your chair, bring your hip your hip that you're sitting on, you're going to sit on one hip and then one's kind of just hanging there. And we're going to stay right here, kind of plant yourself, make sure you don't fall off. And we're going to come up and back down. Belly into spine. We really are trying to work our side body muscles against gravity. So watch your neck, watch your shoulders away from your ears, down your back. You can still lift your elevator. See all the stuff we could do just sitting in a chair? Can you imagine doing this on a plane flight? What your neighbors would be thinking? Woo! We can do a bit more, right? Nine billion and one, 20,000, 84, 73, or we could count 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. When I angle it this high, oh, we're at 13 minutes, you guys. We're almost on 14. When I angle the camera so high, I can't see the thing. Okay, so I swap sides, swap sides with me. Scoot toward the edge of the front of your chair. Lean back in the chair though. Put your leg anywhere that's comfortable. And we're going to come up and back down. So we're going straight. We're pinching like our ribs into our hips. How are you feeling? Different, huh? Different from one side to the other. I can't even remember how I use my leg to prop me. It seemed like it was easier though before. I hope you had a good day as well today. Oh, actually, you're going to see it in the morning probably, maybe. So I hope you have a very good day. That's the joy of taping late at night. Um, 
I'd rather not, but I have to work when the internet isn't working so high so it could download into YouTube. Okay, let's change in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And back up in your chair. Let's stomp, 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 stomp like we're running. Sit up nice and tall. If you're not comfortable lifting your legs, slide them. Whatever, keep them still. Lift your just your heels. Or maybe I'm just gonna lift my heels right now. Because I'm gonna work more on elongating my spine. Belly in the spine, elevator lifted. Just a little bit of arch, but I also started feeling it from that last exercise in the front of my hip. It's a crotchety old hip. Crotchety, I say. Mighty crotchety. I don't want to be limping tomorrow as I still have a victory dance uh, to accomplish. Can we go faster? Oh, tape, 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 huh? Tomorrow you'll see me in like a giant snowsuit so my underarms aren't touching together. Hey, let's change again. Change in four, three, two, one. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Remember, you could slide, you can lift, you can go double time, you can keep your legs in the air and lean back to really work stomach muscles. It's your workout, right? I'm just gonna rock out with you, though. Go faster. This is great, you know the football players how to do the agility with the, the tires. This makes me think of that, but I can't trip. Okay, let's change in four, three, two, and one. Let's rest our legs again, and let's get some punching going. I worked so hard on realizing I'm becoming a champion. No, I was so proud of myself that I wasn't going to be that martyr and just be treated poorly and then hate my job and then quit that I didn't think of exercises. Generally, when it's flowing well there, I come up with, what am I going to exercise? What am I going to do today? Send in your suggestions, please. It does help. Let's go faster. Okay, so we're going to go punch, punch, uppercut. Punch, punch, uppercut. Punch, punch, uppercut. Punch, punch, uppercut. When I think of the uppercut, I'm thinking like, for he's a jolly good fellow, right? It's like the sailor punch thing. Punch, punch, uppercut. Punch, punch. It's like Popeye the sailor. Don't punch your face up. Get your hand going a little bit away from you. Oh, here it goes. Now you're going to see lack of coordination might go faster. Keep your chin tucked in and keep it safe. Lift your elevator, shoulders away from ears. We're going to change in four, three, two, one. Bring your arms out toward me. Hold them there. Pull shoulders down, away from your ears, down your back. Pin your angel wings and flip your hands. See as fast as you can go. And go faster, 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 faster. All the way over and all the way back. Belly into spine, elevators lifted. Lift your inner arches of your feet too. Spread your toes right. There's so much to do. Are your hands opening and closing at the same time? A friend went to the DMV customer friend to renew her license today. She of course did line paid and then asked how, when she gonna take the, the computerized test for her, you know, like we do as a permit. And they said, we're not doing it because we can't clean the computers or something. So she studied and studied and studied and studied and then felt gypped. I was thinking, that's okay. I'm thinking of this, this is not how you wanna drive a car. That's why I came up with it. 
Let's change that up in four, three, two, one. I'm gonna peek at our time. 20 minutes, that's good. Okay, resting our arms. Keep our legs uh, away, or right, hips with distance. I don't want your knees touching. I want you to hinge forward, rocking slowly back and forth. Belly into spine, seeing if you can get some air. Hold on if you need to. Don't look up, look down, save your chin. We're not gonna stand any, we're just rocking. If you need to hold on, if you need to push into your hands to get up, if you wanna cross your arms, just make sure the chair is behind you when you sit back down. We're gonna change it in four, three, two, and one. Let's add a stretch. Come to the side of the chair, relax one leg down, both your knees and your hips are facing the one direction. I can feel it in here. I hope you're not. So knee is supposedly under hip, which is supposedly under shoulder, and then I can bring my ear back to horizontal. Belly and the spine, if there's an arch or strain in my back, tighten up the stomach muscles more or allow the knee to come forward. And let's just relax, shoulders away from ears. This is gonna be my downfall. That's gonna wreck my kicking game of my soccer when we go back to the playground games, huh? Hmm. Let's hold for a little longer, then we're gonna swap sides. Are you feeling a relaxation in that? If not, tighten up your stomach muscles more, perhaps. You know, when I sit sideways, I do hold on to the chair for support. If you think about it, just I don't want you to fall off your chair. And come on back up. I'm going to swap sides. Swap sides with me. The counter works good for one direction, and then I'm stuck because I don't want to shift it around my chair. So belly into spine, knees are one way, hips are one way, shoulders are one way. Shoulders roll up, down, and then glue them way down below. Belly into spine. And hold it for a little bit. Make faces at yourself if you're in your bathroom vanity with a mirror. This one's a horrific. I'm seeing all my grays showing through. When we get through with this, I think I might go for a hair change and have them just re-gray or color everything gray to match my roots. What an interesting thing to actually match and not try to get my roots to turn into like I'm 20 years old again. And let's come on back up. Let's add a little bit more of leg work, one leg forward, all the way, and then back in. We're sliding our, our toes, toes forward, out to the side, opening your heel, facing your heel toward the front and back in. Side, back in, front, side, back in, front, side, back in. Last time going forward, and now let's try to go back, side, front. Back, side, front. So it's a little bit of like an imagination. It's not going to put you on the New York ballet or anything, right? With this technique. Wouldn't that be something if, if we pay for the ballerinas to show up again and the ballet dancers? And then they sit in a chair and do this. Let's stop. And when we come around again, and let's swap legs to the other front, side, and back, and through. Front, side, back, and through. Front. So sit up tall. Keep that, that slight curve in your spine. No recliner. If this is difficult, go smaller circles. Right here is beautiful. 
working on just the mobility that we need to get in and out of bed, in and out of a car, in and out of a uh, picnic table benches. Those are the worst when somebody has it at an angle and then either one person can't get to the table or you can't get out of it. Let's change it next time around. Good, now let's go all the way back, side and forth. Back, side, forth. Set up as tall as you can. This is very hard. That's why there's no, no talking I'm looking at too. Like I talk to my, my angry looking students when they're forgetting that they're having fun. I'm just being all mean. Let's change in four, whew, three, two, one. I am so ready to be done. Oh, thank goodness. Let's just breathe and call it a day. Good job, you guys. Sit up tall, lift your inner arches, and clench your toes, lay them out nicely, belly into spine, elevators lifted. Your chin is tucked back straight so it's horizontal it's a horizontal slide to the floor shoulders away from ears inhale lift your arms and exhale inhale lift and exhale last time inhale as you exhale bring your hands your palms together at heart center take that time to know that you are worthy your opinion matters. You are, you should be respected. You should be honored. We got this, you guys. We are worthy. We are able. People will treat us well, right? Because we're human beings. Thank you for giving me the confidence to realize that my thoughts and my feelings matter. From my open heart to yours, namaste.